And we are back with a, a new co-host. Oh. Anything different about me? How do we feel, everyone? Let us know in the comments about. No, actually, don't let me know <laughs> about Abby's uh, blonde era. Only let me know if you like it. Um, actually, no. I I'm here for all. I think opinions. it looks really nice on you. Thank you. Um, yeah. So Josh likes blondes. I like all. <laughs> no, 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 no. All you hair can colors. Be honest. It's okay. No, I actually. Yes, you do. I, you love blondes. I grew up. <laughs> being i had a blonde fetish i love blondes but then whenever i met you i you're like i went into a little bit of a it, brunette she's not blonde no i went into a little brunette phase um because you so, love me for who i am yeah but no i really i did then i started like only liking brunettes no because, because when i we, only like no, one brunette yeah i was gonna say wait 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 <laughs> wait 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 because literally i remember like you know i went oh funny story okay we met and I had brown hair and then when we rekindled- Black hair, I'd say. You're well, I'd say when we, sorry, when we went on our first date, I had long, beautiful brown hair. Mm -hmm. Brown hair. Long, beautiful. You my brown haired girl. Love that. Um, and then literally two days later after our first hangout, like obviously we knew each other through social media. So he like knew what I looked like. But like our, our first date, long brown hair. Our second date- I chopped it to my, remember I came, I chopped it, we did, remember I came over, Josh, you're such, how old are you, how old are you, oh my god, how old are you, <laughs> you are so annoying, remember I came over, and my oh. hair was chopped, like, I mean, I should say butchered, it was so bad, up to here, and jet black, mm, who cut it, I'm not, I'm not throwing them under the bus, oh. Um, but you still love me. Well, you liked me. I should say, I don't know if you were in the love phase yet. Cause it was only our second date, but you kept me I around. You, you could say love. Oh, that's great. But, um, that's how I know that you love me for who I am and not for my exterior appearance. Cause that was, uh, not my best oh, time. The exterior appearance is a plus. <laughs> what? Hmm? Being blonde? No, I mean like you're pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> But um, I found out quickly Josh likes blondes because out of when one time blondes. my blondes, <laughs> I um, my hair grew out and I was like, oh, I want to do something different. And um, he was like, go blonde. I'm like, no. And he's like, well, like really go blonde. And then I found out just he he really he likes blonde. So it I, works for you though. Like you look you look pretty. This no is the what, best my hair has ever looked blonde. Yeah. Yeah, it looks so super cute. Um, Thank you. It, like when you do the blonde with your dark, you have really bushy, beautiful eyebrows, and it just like brings out the blue in your eye more. I think it gives you more of a contour to your face, maybe or something. But no, my yeah. face is just getting skinnier. Now I know it just looks I'm not like uh, it just <laughs> looks like fresher, lighter. Like it just and it's going into summer here, and it just gives it just screams summer, babe. I'm in my summer era. Summer, babe, era. Um, but that's so funny you brought that up that my face looks a little more contoured. It's because I literally am, I'm losing the... You're losing weight? Congrats. The, that's great. the baby, oh. whatever. Um, cause if you guys watch a couple episodes ago, I'd say what about... Let's just go back You were five. trying to get in some sort of exercise routine or something. I never said that. No. Wait, <laughs> maybe we talked about that. Wait, wait, no, no, no. I never said that. I'm talking about when I was like 38 weeks pregnant and my chins were chinning. Cause remember I was yeah. like so nervous, but, um... That's my thing about pregnancy. I am the type of pregnant woman that just get, holds that water weight, and it's it, it holds about right here in my cheeks. I think you were no, I loved it. No, no, no. I'm not talking about it. I'm not talking about about. I love being pregnant. I loved my fuller lips. I loved my fuller um, cheeks. My chins were chinning, and, and um, um, it's funny now because I just filmed the video today, and I was like, oh, my cheeks are looking like back to like, like you know, little. I don't know what that is. Just like you can see the line again. It wasn't like this. Uh, well, oh, okay. All I'm saying is like, I feel good. Like I'm in a good place with my self. I don't know. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty. How about that? Can I feel pretty? Feeling hot? I don't like the, I don't know. Sexy. Feeling sexy. It's okay to say that if you no, are. No, I, you know what's weird? I don't. Oh. Not right now. I'm still not my, my full. I don't know if I ever felt sexy. That's a weird thing. I, I don't felt know. sexy. Well, I, I know. <laughs> short and sexy i know that's a this might be a great topic um yeah like, i feel the thing is i'm a very flat-chested person 
And I never knew. I and no, 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 no. I'm saying not a bad thing. I didn't mind it. Even though when I was 10 years old, I my dream was to go to Hooters because I wanted boobs so bad. And I went to Hooters for my 10th birthday. So I always loved boobs. Like I was a, <laughs> always wanted boobs. Then I realized like, oh, that as you get older, boobs can bring you down. They can make your posture bad. They're heavy, like back problems. Like they're not always good things. So. <laughs> Trying to follow. Yeah. So I realized like, oh, it's nice. I don't have to wear a bra. And I love that. And then after. Actually, they said it's bad if you, I read a thing, which you can't believe everything you read online what? anymore, but it said not wearing a bra will actually make your boobs raise up more and not sag. They'll do the opposite. Wearing a bra will eventually make them sag. Oh, well, I don't wear a bra. That's just something I read. Where'd you read that at? It was you on read my it FYP. Cosmopolitan? No, it was on my FYP on Instagram. Okay, so that's not Instagram. That's okay. FYP's TikTok for uh, you page. You're going on your explore. Is that the explore page? I call it FYP. Yeah, he's an Instagram Reels guy. I can't. Okay, we can't even. That's a whole episode in itself that you watch Instagram Reels. Um, so I send all my boys. <laughs> okay, but anyway, <laughs> um, I was never a boob person till oh, I'm in this plan again. Till um, breastfeeding Poppy. When that milk comes in, I was like, whoa, this is what boobs feel like. And I feel really sexy when I have those boobs. But the thing is, mastitis comes with that and they get really rock hard, like, and uncomfortable. So I wouldn't say it's, like, super sexy. But... Semi-sexy. Semi-sexy having a little bit of boob. But at the same time, I like not having boobs. Can guys feel sexy? For sure. You just said you felt sexy. I was just kidding. I don't think I've ever felt sexy. Aw. I don't think... I Can guys feel sexy? I mean, when you're wearing those tight short shorts with your... With your uh, I felt strong. Maybe that's sexy. Maybe that is. Brave at times. Like you've never been like one of those like you know those guys do that like like that like this? You do I I know when you feel sexy. Oh my god, I just I don't it. think it's sexy. No, though. when Josh feels sexy, dude, this is how he walks. He goes He walks around like this. And I, I would know say he's I, feeling himself. I he feel, felt sexy. Not feeling myself, but <laughs> uh cramp. Um <laughs> I wouldn't say I ah oh my god I'm ceasing up. You okay? Yeah, I had a muscle cramp right there. Oh my god, your boobies have a cramp. Ah, oh, Charlie horse in my tip. I don't think. Can you have a Charlie horse there? I have one right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's from you putting on that jacket last night. He he tried to put on his oh, leather jacket and unfortunately that was gnarly. Oh my god, it didn't that hurt. fit. Anyway, I'm dehydrated. Um, Should we talk about it? Yeah, we. Could, I actually. I would love to because we've been actually talking about this for ages and I'm ready to share the information with the public. What? My report. Today's episode is brought to you by StoryWorth. So my parents just moved up here and when they were moving, I saw like my dad's old yearbooks and we started asking questions and I thought I knew my father better than anyone. Um, but one day when we were chatting, I heard the story that I've never ever heard before and that got me wondering how many other stories do I not know about my father? And that's why I got my dad StoryWorth. So StoryWorth is an online service that helps you and your dad or any father figure in your life connect through sharing stories and memories, and it preserves them for years to come. Every week, StoryWorth emails your dad a thought-provoking question of your choice from a vast pool of possible options. Each unique prompt asks questions you've never thought of, like which is one of your fondest childhood memories or have you ever feared for your life? Um, I've really enjoyed reading my dad's answers to those questions, and I've discovered stories and memories I've never never heard about and learned new things about stories I thought I really knew kind of like how my mom and dad met about their wedding day like things that I just never thought about asking and just those little details which I found through using StoryWorth and it's just such a, like such a special moment and after one year StoryWorth compiles all those questions and stories including photos into a beautiful keepsake book that the whole family can share for generations I love that we can pass it down for Poppy to read for Jagger to read and just to keep it in the family and learn about their grandfather great-grandfather it's, it's pretty fascinating so give all the fathers in your life the meaningful gift you can both cherish for years to come and that is story worth right now for a limited time you can save ten dollars on your first purchase when you go to storyworth.com slash herberts that's story worth s-t-o-r-y w-o-r-t-h dot com slash herberts h-e-r 
B-E-R-T-S, to save $10 on your first purchase. Once again, that is storyworth.com slash Herbert to save $10 on your first purchase. It's a great gift, especially to learn about your any father figure in your life and um, to keep it in your family for generations. So check out storyworth.com slash Herbert's and let's get back to the show. Um, yep, Josh got a report back. And I, you know what? I kind of want to control this conversation because I know you're going to make it really like... I'm just I'm just giving facts. I have my data and I'm just spitting facts. So when you have children, they tell you to get things like life insurance. And, you know, they say it's like good. Today's to episode brought to you by Looming Life Insurance. If you're interested in longevity and living your life and passing down to generations, look into Looming Life. Sa- Is that a real thing? No, but that'd be, that would have been the perfect ad segue <laughs> if we had one. Um, but anyway, so we got life insurance. And for life insurance, you have to get your Great blood name work. too, like looming. Like it's looming over you, life Okay, <laughs> but um, Josh went first for some. Why did you get to go first? Why did they call you first? They called not me, me first. I don't know. That's so weird. I don't. I don't like that. But um, anyway, did we they tell ca- the story? What happened? Yes, I'm going to get into it. So they called Josh. Um, Sorry, to, I'm, just, I'm just pulling up the info. Okay, to pull up. Oh my god, I just said what you said. Um, they called Josh to get his blood work taken because they got to make sure he's healthy to see how much life insurance we can get. I don't. I don't understand the full thing, but. Anyway, he had the option to go get his um, blood work done or have someone come to the house. And obviously, Josh, you know, he's like, easy, have someone come to the house. Hmm. Yeah. And we, (laughs) I don't, I feel like I say this every episode, but we know Josh, he's got a little panic. He's got a little anxiety, um, especially when it comes to doctors. He's got a thing called white coat syndrome where he panics anytime he sees a doctor in a white coat. Anytime a (laughs) blood pressure cuff gets put put on me, spikes. Spikes immediately. He's panicky. So this beautiful of a nurse comes to her house she's so funny she walks in and she's just like taking her stuff out she's ready to go and josh is like in the chair and i i was proud of you you told her you're like i'm a little panicky and she's like oh you're fine like literally that's what she said she was like i already saw the vein i'm going into when i first got here no literally that's what she said and josh is like and he had a fast for this if you know josh herbert he wakes up and has to eat his breakfast like when I tell you this man wakes up hungry, I don't understand how he Starving. can eat. He can eat 12 eggs the second he wakes up. It's nauseating. It's honestly nauseating to like see and to smell it. Like who wants to smell 12 eggs at six in the morning? Mm, there really is no better smell. Um, but anyway, so he couldn't do that. He had no food and he was already like, oh, I'm a little wheezy. I'm hungry. I'm like, okay, you're fine. And then um, the nurse, as he's sitting in the chair, is like, I see the vein I want. For someone who... Well, then she's like, I, it's a good sign. I can see you're not afraid of needles because all my tattoos. And, and he was I said, like, well, I'm not afraid of needles, but I'm afraid of being extracted of blood. <laughs> Stop. Not it's- afraid. I get, I get, it's a thing. As soon as the blood leaves me, all of a sudden I get that lay on the cold tile floor feeling like you're going to puke. Okay, so... Passing out. Like I got to lay on a cold floor sweating. She's doing your blood, blood pressure. Sugars, well, I don't and, know what's going on. And she's telling, they're doing breathing techniques. She's literally doing breathing techniques for Josh because his first blood pressure was a little high. And he, you know, he told her, he's like, I have white coat syndrome, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, and well, they were like doing this whole thing. I have the stats right here. Uh, just so while we're talking, for, she took my blood pressure three times. That's what they do for these tests. First blood pressure draw result was. <laughs> you don't even know. We don't know. Here wait. it is. 123 over 70. I don't know okay. how to read a blood pressure. I don't know. Second blood pressure. A couple minutes later, we breathed. 118 over 68. Yeah, fine. And then the third one was 120 over 70. So my average blood pressure, <clears throat> drum roll. Yeah. Average blood pressure taking the three into consideration. The yeah. first one a bit high because I was nervous. 120 over 69. Perfect. I think, I that's, think that's pretty great. good. We don't really knowing know. Knowing I was anything. a bit nervous. Yeah. I think that's great. Um, and she was like, oh, you got this. You're fine. And Oh, what, sorry to cut you off one more time. We didn't go through height uh, and weight. Five no. seven. No, I should have recorded. Says here she five literally, seven. Five dude, foot seven. She told you she rounded up. She said she got five six and a half, and she rounded up. I swear. It was five six whoever, and three fourths. She said five six and a half, and she rounded up. Five six, and it was close to five. I'm five seven. Get this though, one hundred and seventy pounds. I put you were, on ten pounds. You since were last so year. nervous about that because you were like. Oh, I, I put I, I did an Ironman and I put on muscle and I'm like she doesn't care like because they <laughs> for these test things for life insurance they're gonna think it's unhealthy fat I put on I don't think that's like is it 170 normal not really like, for right? someone my stature <laughs> for... that's pretty strong oh my god <laughs> what <laughs> anyway 
Um, I don't know how You're they funny. got my BMI. Funny. That's that cannot be correct. Twenty six point six BMI. They can't. That's how they get that your BMI. That's not correct at all. How did she get my BMI? I'm gonna have to call them about that because that doesn't sound right. That's probably just your average. That's the thing. They did. They just did your height and yeah. weight, and not. They didn't actually check your BMI. They didn't check any BMI, so that is incorrect. I'm gonna have to call them about that because I don't want that to ding my results and <laughs> just skyrocket my life insurance. But anywho. Um, okay, so now we're at the point where the needle's out and she's ready to go. And she doesn't really give you like time to process. Which is fine. Which I great. didn't even feel go in. He I just sat like, there. He's like, I can't look. And at, to be honest, I was sitting on the couch with Jagger and Poppy. And um, I was like, I'm not going to go over there. That's her thing. And I'm watching. Blood's coming out. She's done. Easy. She's like, here, hold this. He looks over at me and I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. He's not going to do it. And he goes, I'm feeling a little queasy. I'm feeling yes. I didn't say queasy. No, you did. You're like, um, no, I didn't. What'd you say then? I said, I feel a little lightheaded. Yeah. Well, and then you're like, I, I don't, I don't feel good. And he stood up and he came. So he was in the kitchen and where our, like, here's, here's where Josh was. I'm sitting here on the couch. And then we have some tile right here to go out to the back door. And he comes over, lays on the tile and is like, I'm, I don't feel good. I'm going to pass out. I, I was know, white as a ghost. And no, no. No, you weren't. You were fine. And I, I got that feeling. Lay on the cool. I'm sweating profusely, like so. I saw not as I didn't see a. I did not see a single sweat drop. I did, and but I could be wrong. Laid down, and lo and behold, all I needed. Abby got me a banana and one of those honey stinger gels. I sucked that down. Took a banana bite. Poppy's a, kicking me in the head. I have a picture. And, like, I took a picture to climb of him on, on the floor because I was like, I have to. Literally, do this. like lo and behold, like it took like three or four minutes, and then boom, back to normal. So. I don't know what happened. Maybe my sugar levels dropped drastically. That's all it's I can think. It's called anxiety. It's what happened. You got in your I head, Josh. I had a physical. Because you were so fine. It was It in was immediately out. after the extraction. That's all I'm saying. Yes, because you sat there and thought about no, it. No, because my body now has less blood. So it's trying to. Dude. It releases something you, to make more you, blood. You lost more blood when you cut your chin open than you did when her taking that little thing of blood. It, it's, it's all up here. It's a mind game. Anyway, I mean, I'm um, sure you were a little, little like hungry. But and that then can it make was so feel... funny. She came over. She's like, "Well, I, I think you'll be okay. I'm gonna see myself out." Yeah, she she's like, peace. She literally peace. But like, what can she <laughs> I'm do? Like on the ground. No, Josh was literally on the ground. I'm holding no, Jagger. She was good. Poppy's she was great. kicking. Uh, I, I called you Justin. <laughs> Poppy's kicking Josh in the head. I'm trying to get him a honey stick and a banana. She goes, "All right, I'll see myself out. Bye." Uh, but let's just go through. I'm gonna give you some live results here. Do you want to do that? Do yeah. you want to? Yeah. I have, I'm transparent here. But like, we know you're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Everything's other than, checked out. Other than your high cholesterol. Now, that's the thing. And we're going to have to look at more into that because there are a lot of different ideas on cholesterol now. Um, tons of different. Exactly. They say eggs do not affect your cholesterol now from reports I've been reading. So that being said, Here's the true results. Um, I feel great. I feel healthy. I don't think you need to read them all. I, I I'm not reading them all. I'm reading some of the big ticket items. I wouldn't give numbers either. I would just say you're nor everything's normal. I don't know what you're reading other than your high cholesterol. What about teeth? Off he the did, charts. He did not get his testosterone they, they checked. Didn't check that. Um, <laughs> should, that's I had to pay extra. Need. No, everything I was in the green normal zone. Cholesterol slightly above. My cholesterol is two forty five milligram. DL, whatever that means. MG slash DL. Yeah, I would just not, you don't have to get that detailed into it. But um, HDL is a bit high. But I think what brought it up. LDL is like, perfect. What brought it up was on the side, it says like, okay, this is the normal range and these could be reasons why. And it was like dehydration or like Josh read dehydration and the next thing was like, or some forms of like cancer. And he immediately like got stuck <laughs> to that. And I was like, I think you were just dehydrated. Like, I think you're fine. I don't have anything to drink. <laughs> Um, but um, all is good. High cholesterol runs in the fam, right? Your mom. Yeah, like, but like barely over. Like the the threshold's two hundred and twenty mg's, and I'm at two forty five. That's 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 over. It's not like you were two twenty one. Yeah, but is that even right? Yes, it's from your blood. HDL, a HDL was. All right, so HDL was slightly high. high. It was yeah. at 80, and the cutoff is 75 for normal. So you're high. Five by five little things. Now, now Josh is a little worried. Uh, 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 LDL was perfect, 149. Josh is a little, Josh is a little worried because Triglycerides, it says it could be a sign of diabetes. Diabetes. 
pre-diabetic. Um, and I just want to say you crazy. made me feel guilty because I had skin tags. And you told me my skin tags were a sign of diabetes. It is a sign. But your blood work says like, eh. I think it's like skin tags. There's so many things that could cause a skin tag. But now that has to be because diabetes is diet, right? D- type two. Essentially, it's your diet, right? No, oh. no, I don't, I don't think necessarily is, is type, I don't think type two diabetes is a hundred percent diet based. Oh, I thought it was. Is it? I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. Wanna, we don't want to put false information, but. I don't. I thought. Uh, That's well, what I thought. I'm screwed because yeah. uh, diabetes runs in the family and high cholesterol and high blood pressure. So <laughs> I got no, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't. I was. I thought pre- type two diabetes was more hereditary and it's not a hundred percent. Your diet doesn't help it. No. But you're. Yeah, you have. A, oh yeah, and we just got to look at you know. Thankfully, my grandparents were all my grandfathers were around for a long time, and you know you can kind of look at your lineage and see what they passed from. To kind of help better understand yourself, right? I thought your your one grandpa passed young and like had full body cancer. You said correct, but it wasn't a heart related issue. Oh wait, 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 wait! wait. <laughs> I'm saying like, like that sounds worse than like. Well, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean well, it like. <laughs> no, no, I knew what you mean, but like everything, everything looking in my course is looking to heart disease, diabetes, high is- blood pressure, high cholesterol, and. But that's the, looking more towards the, heart disease. Your, your number, My grandfather's died of okay, old but age we're not and talking about, cancer, riddled with cancer. Okay, that's terrible. But he worked in an industry where he was breathing in asbestos. No, I know and that. Stuff. I know so, that. So but round I'm, up. But I'm saying not even your grandpa. Like you're your next like tied to. I'm not. I you know I don't want to throw them under. But like you have someone right next to you with high cholesterol, and you have someone right next to you with diabetes i'm not saying so that, you yeah. got both my got grandmother both. had very high blood pressure i'm not talking about gran- i'm not talking about the grandparents well i'm talking you know i'm talking about direct like, lineage dire- direct i'm gonna make some changes <laughs> so um maybe i just party just <laughs> no and that's where it's stop like, eating healthy it's, just go it's so funny because we told my dad my we called as soon as he got the thing, we called my mom immediately because she's a nurse and understands these numbers. And she had it on speaker. And all you hear is my dad in the background because my dad also is very much, you know, has high cholesterol, high blood pressure. And he's like, he's thriving. He's doing it. <laughs> he is. Well, that's what he told Josh. He goes, he's laughing at Josh's numbers. He's like, well, maybe you should start drinking again. <laughs> maybe. And I'm like, no, Which no, I think of, I've gone. How long have you gone? I'm going to look. Um, but no, I, I think you're on the right path. And, you know, you can't change what's going to happen to you that way. I don't know. Um, I think you're fine. Yellow. What? Um, I've <laughs> been alcohol free. Yeah. For 159 days. Now, I don't know if you can call that alcohol free because I've been drinking those That's non-alcoholic alcohol free. beers. Apple juice or orange juice has a okay. percentage of alcohol so I'm in it. 159 days alcohol free. I'm not saying sober because I'm going to drink again. Just, Why? I don't know. I just like a beer every once in a while. It's not going to be like a crazy thing, but I enjoy. It's Why just, though? I just enjoy it. Why? I don't know. I love no, it. No, we I went. Like we just went. A beer okay. Just, so Josh. Take the edge off. I don't know. I was so proud of you. We went um, to a birthday party, an adult birthday party um, last weekend, and it was at a bar that we used to go to all the time, an outdoor bar. It was a beautiful day. I've never been to that bar sober. That's what I'm saying. Like it was a beautiful day everywhere. Like Josh, that's Josh's let's say 160 days ago, that would have been your dream drinking day. Oh, and dream, yeah. Um, got lit up. We went, like I said, it was a mixer of like, you know, girls and guys and everyone was drinking besides us, basically. I'm pretty sure, like whatever. It doesn't matter who was not drinking, but we weren't drinking. And I was so proud of you because you went down and he, I don't know if you teased me or whatever, but you're like, I'm going to have a drink. I was like, I don't care. Do whatever. Like I, whatever you want to do, yeah. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I personally, deep down, didn't want you to, but whatever. And I was so proud you didn't. You went there. We got to the bar. That an open bar. You got a. You get a sprite or a ginger ale. I got ale. a sprite and I mixed my element. Yeah, you mix a drink. And like honestly, if you're so nervous about people asking cocktail, you, mocktail. all you had to do was get a lime, put a lime on the end, it looked like a mixed drink. <laughs> but, a mocktail. Um, and like, and, and um, so many people were like, "Are you drinking? Do you want to drink?" And all I was like, "No, no." Like I didn't need to say like, "Oh, I don't drink." I was just like, "No, I don't need one. No, thank you." Um, and I was proud of you because that's what you did. Yeah. But see, what I don't want. What I don't, was that? Yeah. Thank you. I don't want it to get to a point where I feel shame when I do have that, when I crack that beer. Well, I just I'll want shame it to be, you. I will shame I you a little bit. I want it to be 
I am in total control and my discipline level is off the charts right now, but knowing I'm in total control, if I want a beer, sure, I can have a beer. If I don't want a beer, hmm, I can stop that. Do you know how much self-control I have that I'm just like, I will never have one. I think it's great. Yeah. It's very disciplined. You should get it. I have it in other regards to my life and I, I have Oh, but you shame me for eating McDonald's. I don't shame you. Actually, I can't eat it anymore. I actually started and I will admit this. I actually started drinking every once in a while. I've only had three in the past (laughs) four or five months. Which I was shocked. The mini cans of Coca-Cola. Yeah, gross. Uh, 90 calories, just all filled with all kinds of junk. But you know what? (laughs) Now that I stopped drinking, I'm just like, it's it's this little thing. I only drink the little baby cans, so my hands look huge in it. (laughs) And it's a Coca-Cola. And you know, it's nostalgic because I used to crush those things and kill my teeth when I was little. So yeah. The only thing is I hate the after... I'm it's not, like uh, I, my teeth feel gritty. I have never been a straight Coca Cola gal. I'm a diet. Yeah. I need diet, which I know I is don't worse like, than I you. I think it tastes weird. No, aspartame. I think see, I think regular tastes weird. Maybe there's aspartame in regular too. There's a weird taste to diet Coke. No, it's like a. Uh, see, that's the top how I feel here. about Coke. I I feel that about Coke, but it's more full body. What the hell's in Sprite? Because I love Sprite. Uh, who knows? What's in that? Who knows what's in? But any what's of in it? Seven Up? Seven Up's gross, but Sprite is great. Know. But I, like I think thing? I'm like kind of. I I do feel bad that I've shamed you before drinking like pop and stuff because at the end of the day, we just gotta keep going on. Yeah, but no, I definitely did realize like as much as I want to be a McDonald's galley, it has been hurting my belly recently. So I, I bet. I mean, I've never had stomach issues to like. I've been. Well, my thing is, it's but like, then again, when I make the steaks, you're just like last night. Okay. I think it's just your a tummy post- had to have been hurting. I think it's just a post-pregnancy thing or something. Sound I don't like know. It hurt. Um, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop it! Stop! I can't help it, babe. Oh, your steaks. No, I I said it was um your breakfast sandwich you made me in the uh, morning. That's what it was. It's the eggs. It's the eggs. Yeah. See, he's always like, Abby, eat eggs, eat eggs. But my <laughs> class can trap me in the car with it. No, it followed she me. She literally it followed me. did it and got in the car, <laughs> shut the door as I was back. And I, out. I kept Just, giggling because I was waiting. And it's so funny. What I don't understand is why does it like I was sit, like brutal. OK, this is so gross, but whatever. I've, we've said so much. But like I was sitting there and I smelled it. But it took you about at least 45 seconds for it to hit you. Yeah, because everyone likes to bathe in their own scent. No, but like but what took it that long to get to you? It's a heavy gas. <laughs> so, it takes a while to trans. It's it's heavy. Uh, it's like a punch. To the and gut. At what couple episodes ago? I know we talked about when you toot in the shower in the bathtub or whatever. Like it smells it's different. different. It hits you different. Yeah. Dude, I was in the bath with Jagger. Bathtub too. No, I was in. The, listen, listen. I was in the bath with Jagger, and he's kicking and like doing his thing, and then he just let. I mean, rumbled, uh, his ripped. Parts reek. And I was like, oh, it's not gonna smell. It smelled a trillion times worse. Why does water make it smell worse? I don't know, but his farts are apocalyptic. Oh, um, no, they're, it's, it's straight. They're the worst sewage. Sewer. Like, Why? Your breast milk is so pure. I don't know. <laughs> that was creepy. Um, yeah, no, so I it, it works on children and babies because his smelled a hundred times worse, worse in the bathtub. Yeah. Yeah, the bathtub bombs are just... Oof. Um, so yeah, more of where we're at in life. I'm a blondie now. Yep. Josh is potentially a, I, I don't want to, I don't want to joke about diabetes cause it actually, it's like a real thing, but you've got high cholesterol for a fact. We know that. Yeah. But I still have to go, uh, this is going to be tough for me to do cause I did pass out, but I have to go <laughs> you to go a get facility more. to get a full, like that was, this was just for life insurance. But, um, with my new doctor now, I have to go and get a full report so he can check, you know, he's going to check everything, Lyme disease, T, you name it. Um, panic. I don't know, but oh, and speaking of panic, uh, maybe next episode we talk about because that's gonna be next week, and then we leave for LA, so two weeks. That's soon. In two weeks, we gotta per- prepare for that. Um, yeah, we we leave for LA. We're going to VidCon. Um, we've never done anything like that before. I it was so this, next month. No, it's literally two weeks, right? Yeah, two weeks away. So we gotta prepare you for that. Um, we're bringing both kiddos. We're bringing both both grandmas. Um, we're getting our schedule. We're doing a meet and greet. Um, go to VidCon if you want to go check that out. I'll be signing autographs as well. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Like, what if no one shows up? But that's fine if no one does. Hey. We're just there having fun. We're just there. Um, but I did see that on TikTok, like, last year. Like, 
things something wasn't set up and there were like people standing there for meet and greets and no one in line and you I know what like, the people that are there are the people that want to be there Abby. yeah so but hey if even if we had one person i'll be happy if we have one person there because i'll be like oh that's pretty cool yeah. um so that'll be like our first time ever doing like a meet and greet and uh doing vidcon and you know doing like social events because as you guys know we don't travel we don't like meet other creators and we we're mutuals like we i have a lot of mutual moms and other tiktokers and other couples that we're mutually friends with and that we like you guys you know um but like we never m met them in person so this will be like our first time like meeting other creators so i think that'll be yeah. fun there's some that i'm excited to meet and um and do all that and uh yeah it's life's crazy and um we have a lot coming up and a lot of exciting things that we're excited about yeah oh my god i'm gonna sneeze it's like great. <gasps> Got it. Um, bless me. Where's bless you? Where's that at? Bless you, my blonde bombshell. Um, if anybody is watching this, I know I talked about it on my Instagram, but that documentary about the Duggars is wild. If anyone wants to watch that, it's called. Is it called the Shiny People or something? Happy Shiny People or Happy Shiny People? I think that's what it's called. It's on Amazon Prime. What else have we watched? Trying to recap it a little bit. We're I'm staying up to date with the NHL Stanley Cup Finals and the NBA Finals. I'm actually enjoying. You've that. never been an NBA person, which I is like weird. watching the last ten minutes of the game. It's because you watched that one, which yeah. was like a wild ending. It was the wildest ending ever um, when the Celtics lost to the Heat. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm I'm hooked for the last ten minutes. That's all I can. Re I mean, it's. But even for hockey, it's like the last. Not really. Hockey's a bit different. Um, yeah. I love both sports. I really do. I used to play basketball, believe it or not, when I was little. It's great. Um, but yeah, hockey's well, I, and I played hockey yeah. longer, so it's. Oh, we Vanderpump Rules. You got into the last episode. Should not we talk into about it. the scan just, the scandal? I, yeah, I don't know. It's it, to me, it seems. Why are you Why are you playing it off? Like it's okay to say you liked it. Like I didn't like okay. it. But I, I think it's fake and scripted. It's I told not. you It's not. It is not. I think it's actors acting. Nope. 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 That's nope. just my opinion. It is not acting. I like for how big this blew up. It got so big. I will tell you. I think Tom Sandoval. I think he's acting it up. Like they're nuts. But I, I will know. say honestly, watching it, I don't know if it's because I'm a mom now. Like I would eat all that up. But like now having like Poppy and a daughter. Not that like, what happened? The situation is disgusting. Like with Tom and. Raquel did in like to Ariana but like it was kind of hard watching like the bullying of it is that weird to say I guess it's not weird to say but like I don't know it was like hard to watch that like I the fact it's that it's scripted, like on television no it's not scripted I'm gonna bully you now oh geez okay it's not scripted All right why would you think that's scripted I don't know what's the point of like being on tv and talking about it then just like don't come out with it they're on a like, reality tv show yeah but like just piece it like i feel like if the blood was really that bad like don't even go on a show anymore just like leave why is everyone because they're all they're all like they all love it they all love the high they're acting no they're not I, I, mm. I feel like if that happened to me i'd be like no f you guys f the show i'm out of here why ariana's like now like she's on every every commercial i've seen she's been in on bravo she's making she's profiting so much on this which is amazing like great for her i mean and look at tom Sandoval. he was just playing a jurgles not really my i know you tried roping me into the show but i if it wasn't for you i wouldn't have it on well, well uh, yeah i understand but i'm just saying like what like watching that i felt it was hard to watch like the bullying but like obviously what happened was disgusting like that was that would literally be like um me hooking up with your best friend what's well, happened to me before i know that's sad so maybe that's why I don't like the show. Oh, it's bringing up trauma. Could be. Mm. Well, thank you guys <laughs> so much for tuning in today. I um, want to thank all of our listeners. And uh, like Abby said, if you're going to be out in the VidCon area, we will be there in just a few short weeks. I have to prepare for the flight. Yeah. Um, so I better get on that. And uh, once again, uh, we love you guys. And we'll see you next time on Who Wears the Pants. Me. Bye-bye. <laughs>